The race to build a luxury glamping site within six weeks is on. The chateau is on our island, surrounded by the moat. Jenny and Steve's um, coach house. This is a bridge that Steve and I have built to go around the corner. And over this part, that's what Angela has chosen for our glamping area. And the dome has got a bridge going to it. To make it nice, she wants to have an even bigger dome over here. We need to have showers, kitchens, facilities. So we're fabricating a shower at this end, a sink here, a loo. And at this end, there's going to be a whole kitchenette. Angela wants us to build a whole big area for lounging around in the sunshine. Plus, there'll be a big barbecue pit in it to sit around. It's not exactly camping. Uh, big armchairs, double beds, wood-burning stoves. <sighs> Hot tub, I've heard mentioned. It's a massive project. Sadly, we're doing all this at the time of year when it's wet and boggy and dirty. And um, all in all, that's what she wants. And that's what she gets. While Dick's busy clearing the ground for a hot tub, Steve the Builder is installing a new bathroom. It's nice when it's not raining here. <laughs> We are well on it. The floor's not looking too bad. We've got um, electricity and water being connected up. Still more to do with each of those. Start doing a list of things and you run out of fingers, which is never a good sign. But um, look at there. I hear a cuckoo, which means it's spring has sprung, which better get a bloody move on. <laughs> they now have just 24 hours before their first guests arrive. <sighs> That's a barbecue capability, which is all that sort of we need to have. While Dick works outside on the bespoke barbecue, Angel prepares the inside of the dome. With just minutes to spare, the chateau's new glamping site is finally ready for guests. I think it's worked. I really, really love it. It's light, it's airy, it has bits of the chateau. I mean, it has this in the attic. It's had things that have been handmade. We've enjoyed doing this. I, I think we have. <laughs> I'll know in a month's time when, when I can I think clearly again. As the guests arrive, all Dick and Angel can do now is hope they're impressed. I'm Dick. Hello, Dick. Good to see me. I, I, I think it, they liked it. They were really excited. Um, you just didn't know how they were going to receive it, really. You asked them. You got day off tomorrow. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> No, I haven't. She said that and, uh, when she lies her ears wiggle. I can tell when she's telling fibs.